If bang for your buck is what you're looking for when it comes to a travel trailer that can sleep up to seven or eight, think BH270. I'll show you in just a second. You don't need to spend a lot of money to see America the safest way possible and to reconnect with those loved ones. You really don't. That's why I love the bang for your buck entry level travel trailers, especially if you're that family, that group of friends, that couple that's just looking to get up off the ground. Maybe you've been tent camping. Maybe you want to switch from a pop up. Having something that's entry level but still has a packed uh, amenities travel trailer is a tremendous find. And that's what you're going to see in something like what I'm in right now. What's up? It's Chris Young, and I am seated inside the all new 2021 Heartland Pioneer BH270. Now, this is a bunkhouse model travel trailer. It has a super slide, but really opens up the living space. But for entry level, man, you really can't beat the finds that you're going to have right here. For example, I'm seated at the booth dinette, which is on the off camp side. I got large panoramic windows that give me great cross flow with the breezes. Got the wood balance with the decorative decor. I got the residential style LED lights here. And of course, over there uh, on my uh, fold out sofa right there. But this is your reconnection spot. When you get finished making that camp cook meal, maybe you're making some steakums or some sloppy joes, or you got your chuck wagon steak sandwiches that you're cooking over there on the grill. This is where the family is gonna love them. This also reduces down into a sleeper. I'm gonna slide out so you can see. Got the back window back here too, which really allows us, you know, some not only good natural light, but wind flow as well. Underneath here, you're gonna see, you got these notches, this is for your storage, which is underneath that way. This also reduces down into a sleeper and those cushions are fairly comfortable too. And you can see you got plenty of room right there for storage. Uh, good spot for your bags. If you want to use this as a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, you know, maybe you say, yeah, Chris, that's a good idea. Uh, you know, we don't, I don't have kids, but we like to do the ladies weekend getaway trips or the ladies want to do that wine tour where they go visit all the wineries and camp out, maybe dry dock and do all this good stuff. You got big, fresh tanks. You got a 13.5 BTU air conditioner, 30,000 BTU furnace, and the AC has quick cool on it as well, which is where the dump. So when you, it's hot and you're standing here, you just want to get that quick blast of air. You open that up. When you close it, the air now goes through the ducts uh, on top of the camper. That's what's great about having the quick cool. But you got good insulation, good tank storage, and you got, you know, just a good space if you want to set something up like that. People ask about Four Seasons Camping, too. Let me just take a hot second and speak to you. Um, four Seasons Camping is really dependent on where you're at. So can any camper be Four Seasons Camping? I mean, technically, yes, but technically, no. Um, Four Seasons Camping in Miami is way different than it is in Buffalo. So when you go speak to your specialist at Camping World or Gander, tell them where you're going to take the camper. That's really where those R ratings are going to come into play when it comes into the insulation. Okay, that's I would love to go through and talk about the R7, the R21, the difference of, you know, the, the pot on the stove and what it means to grab the handle. That's what that R rating means. But it's not going to do you any good if it doesn't apply to you in your area. So talk to your specialist, let them guide you through that process. That's what they're here for. Leather sofa here. This jack knights out into a bed right there, comfy. And as you can see, you know, it's good space for one adult. Now, you know, if, if little Bobby Devlin's wanted to get on here too, you know, he could be big spoon. I could be big spoon. He could be little spoon. And as you can see, you can get two adults on here, but we say this is room for one because even, you know, with the two of us on here, by the way, I like those shorts, Bobby. That's, you know, those are, those are nice. Uh, they're still, you kind of cramped down here. So I usually kick out and go the angle, but plush and comfortable. You put a sheet on this, you get that window open. You're going to have a good night's sleep. So jackknife sofas always say one adult. Uh, also, you want to check the headroom too. Watch out for that because I'm 6'2". And as you can see, you can come up and kind of bump your head. So just always check that out and watch that. Accent light up top, solid wood construction, double over double bunks on this BH270. You got the Teddy Bear Series mattress, that thick plush, three inch thick fuzzy. You know, these can hold 300 pound capacity there. Got windows and LED lights. Got a power port up top. 
right under there. Got me some more storage. Plus access if I need to get to my pipes. That's where I put the fishing rods. Um, I tell people, though, if you do use that for storage, fishing rods, you know, hunting gear, whatever, don't lay the stuff on top of the pipes. Lay it underneath. I know that you think, oh, Chris, that's easy. Just trust me. Some people forget it. Hideaway ladder. That's solid. Power port there. Got myself a rear campsite shower bathroom that has the single surround shower tub combo here got the plastic bowl with the foot flush plus my own private access i love this because if you do have the kids or you do have additional people coming to stay with you they have a way of getting in and out that isn't going to wake you up if you're asleep in the master got plenty of room here on the countertop with my single basin sink power port powered vent fan as well probably hear that up there got my mirrored medicine cabinet wish the lips here were a little bit more raised because, you know, as you can see, that's not even half a finger width. Um, it, it's nice and raised down here. So when you're in transit, put your stuff down here or else it'll fall out when you go to open it. That's why the raised lips are nice to have. But in the shower tub combo, now being 6'2", I'm standing up straight for the first time in my life and uh, I'm not really cramped. Got plenty of room left and right, single surround, corner notches. Got my nozzle right here to do the cleaning off. And this is great if you do have the, the dogs or the kids, you bring them in from the beach or the trips or whatever, and they're dirty, you can spray them off in the tub and you don't have to worry about tracking that stuff all through the camper. Um, got your curtain right there. But you know, cleaning these things, uh, especially with what they've done with this slip resistant, easy to clean flooring, um, it, does, it does make life a whole lot easier. This linoleum is easy to clean. And one thing about Heartland is, you know, carpet free interiors because that can attract and hold the dust and the allergens, stuff like that. Eight cubic foot fridge freezer combo, automatic switch, runs on both gas and electric. Good space for whatever trips you want to take. Got stacks here if you want to put the water bottles, whatever, the juice packs. Uh, if you go fishing, you drain the lake, store it right there. Flush mounted three burner cooktop on a seamless L shaped kitchen right here on the campsite. Look at the space and the design that I have here. This is what I'm talking about with the features and the amenities. You got a solid backsplash too here. I like how they did that. It's decorative. I got the grill style grate for my three burner cooktop, making it easy to move the pots and pans around. I got the large oven right there. So if I wanted to bake my cookies, my pumpkin patties, I could put those in there and do those easily. Got the high point microwave, plus got me a little storage space up here if I wanted to put some wine bottles or whatever, maybe some balls of tape, I can put that up there as well. But solid surface countertop with a 50-50 stainless steel undermounted uh, sink and the high rise faucet right here. Let me tell you, nice feature to have because when it comes to cleaning, you just wipe and go. You don't have the grouted edge around the top that could get dirty or chipped off. So the undermounted sink is a good feature to have. Solid wood on the cabinetry here. Got my little spot for my trash can. Solid wood on the drawers as well. And I like how they did the decorative style here. It's flush, it's finished off, it's beautiful. Solid wood, full extension on the ball bearing drives. And you got the frosted glass inlay right here on your cabinets up top. There we go. Speakers mounted inside because we do have uh, entertainment both in and out. Got my ducts for my air conditioning. Over here, I like how they did the design. You got yourself a mud room. I got the little racks right here. I got a mirror to check, see how everything's looking. Let's say you are doing the ladies weekend getaway. Plus you got the bench seat. So if I want to sit down, watch what's going on over there, talk to people or just hang out, do my shoes, take my muddy boots off. Maybe store them under there. You know, could easily be done. Component shelf storage here as well. Uh, I could put a light, some accents. I got a dual USB charger here. I got my Bluetooth enabled AM FM control center. Got the power port. Got my uh, entertainment connection here and the backer to put the TV on, plus another decorative shelf here. Just adding some of those amenities. And a lot of campers are coming with the uh, Wi Fi prep on them. So, like for this one, the Wine Guard, get your Wi Fi, that'll boost it. Can run my slides, my awnings, my lights. 
got the friction hinge door. We'll talk about that when we get outside. Solid pocket door going into the master bedroom as well. Queen size bed. This is 60 by 80. Got dual USB charging ports on both sides. Nightstand space plus power ports. If I needed to set up a CPAP machine or reading light, I got the space to do that there. We got solid wood cabinetry around the mirrored wards, full size wards right there. Got my storage and side opening doors up top. Now, you might be saying, well, what, what, why are you so emphatic about the side opening doors? Have you ever tried to hold a door open while kneeling on the bed and trying to stuff stuff in? It's not fun, man. It's not fun. So having this just makes life a whole lot easier. You can grab and go. And I got myself a little storage underneath the master bed right here. Good spot for your bags, your shoes hunting gear, fishing gear. I'm big on the cases, you know, the tackle boxes, the whole nine, wherever I can put stuff is where I'm going to put it. Plus I got large windows, giving me some good cross breeze with the little decorative accents up top. Got my TV mounter back here, connection and power port. So bang for your buck. That's what Heartland's about with the Pioneer series. And this BH270 easily sleeps seven to eight people. I mean, if you're looking for that entry level upgrade, this is a good one to check out. So we've seen the inside of the all new 2021 Harlan Pioneer BH270. Let's take a step outside and see what we got going on there. Okay, so here we are on the outside, the 2021 Harlan Pioneer BH270. Gonna start right up front, diamond plated rock guard. You got that hybrid uh, aluminum slash fiberglass style roofing going all the way over the top. Really kind of aerodynamic profile too, reduces the wind resistance when going down the road. Twin 20 pound LP tanks. Powered tongue jack. Now on entry level campers, a lot of times you don't see some of the powered amenities that you get on some of the higher ends. This is a great feature to have. Having a powered tongue jack really helps with the setup, the teardown, getting the campsite going. But not only that, we have ourselves powered leveling jacks as well. Another great feature on an entry level camper that when you're talking about setting up, really makes life a whole lot easier. Got the anti-slam hinges on the doors here. Got the finished off pass through storage. Look at that. You got plenty of room to put all the stuff you don't want to keep inside the camper. So good spot for your beach towels, your beach chairs, maybe your hunting gear, your fishing gear. Got a 14 foot awning with the LED light, sealed safety glass that's tinted all the way around this aluminum camper. And I like how they did the graphics too. Looks good set up, looks good going down the road. Got the three step above solid steps and the extra large grab handle, which doubles as a door guard. And this is one of those friction hinge doors. So it's set to stay, you know, so it's, you know, the wind won't be blowing it all over the place. Plus you have the 26 inch entry, which is a little bit bigger than last year. Come over here, you're gonna see underneath, I got myself so low point drains right there, double axle aluminum travel trailer. We have the 15 inch aluminum wheels, excuse me, uh, on the Dexter Easy Loop axles. And that suspension, that extra wide berth in there is really gonna help with the steady the camper as you're going down the road. Freshwater connection here, cable and power. So if I want to set up some outside entertainment while you know under the awning, we got the lights going, we got the dual zone speakers, hanging out, having fun. Well, Chris, what about hooking up my grill? Got you right there. LP Quick Connect. So if you got your grill, you can just plug that right in and go off the LP that you have up front. Got the fold up stairs going into the bathroom access point that we showed you earlier, plus a solid grab handle here. Rear leveling jacks powered. Four by four sewer hose sto uh, storage, fold down bike rack. Another great addition that comes on the Heartlands this year. Plus spare tire, you got the backup camera there. And you're gonna see those arch ceilings right there that's a little bit better grade than what they had last year, which really helps keep, which really helps keep the rain, the snow off the top of this camper. And those three inch nozzles are gonna make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slides or your friends and family. Cable connection is right there. Over here where we have our camp connections, got the city water connection, black tank flush. Great feature to have, especially on entry level, you don't find a lot. Uh, got the external shower with hot and cold, good spot to clean up. My wife always says, don't take the nasty stuff in the camper, keep it out. Got your 30 amp connection right there. And my terminations are over here. You'll see the gray tank, number one, and the wastewater holding tanks right there. This is the super living room slide that we showed earlier. And you can see under there, look at those Dexter Easy Lube axles down there. Those are so nice to have, so easy to lube. 
come over here. You got the other side of our pass-through storage. And with, uh, with this camper, you're looking at roughly 32 feet long. The dry weight is 6,300 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,700 pounds. Um, but ask your specialists at a Gander or at Camping World and say, hey, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this what, you know, is this right for me? What does that mean? Gross vehicle weight and dry weight. How does that affect my vehicle? Let them walk you through that process because that's what they're great at. And that's really going to make the difference on what's right for you to tow. But if you're a family or a group or just somebody that wants space, 32 feet long, can sleep seven to eight, got a slide, corner bathroom, double over double bunks. I got to tell you, if you're looking for entry level and bang for your buck, take a look at the 2021 Harlan Pioneer BH270. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you think about it. What'd you like? What'd you not like? Because I love hearing from you. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify so that when we do do a brand new review, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope I get a chance to hear from you soon. But until then, stay safe and please come check out a camper. They're fun.